I had fun and games. I went up to Stansted Airport to one of the hotels up there. I drove into the front, dropped my customers off, sorted myself out and drove out again. The whole thing took seven or eight minutes. No problem, I thought. Well, within a week, I got a letter on my doormat from a company called Parking Eye, who turned around and said they want me to pay £100. How dare I sit there for eight minutes dropping my customers off and earning my living? Well, it gets better than that. They're getting a little bit greedy. <laughs> How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Friday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad myself. Let me know how your day's going in the comments below. It's always good to hear what you're up to. Well, 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 these parking firms really get up my nose. Both nostrils, both at once. As I said in the intro to this video, I took some of my passengers up to one of the hotels that stands to drop them off and uh, drove away, didn't think any, anything of it. There's a marked bay, you know, clearly marked for drop-offs outside the hotel. I get something in the post from Parking Eye, who's a company that's quite notorious for this sort of behaviour and even taking people to court as well. And what they basically said to me was, you're going to pay £100 for having the, the sheer cheek of parking in that hotel. Well, they didn't tell me what I'd actually done wrong. And there was no indication of what I'd actually done wrong. So I wrote back and I said to them, what exactly do you want £100 for? You've got me completely flummoxed. They then wrote back and said to me, thank you for appealing. We reject your appeal. Cough up. So I then wrote back and said, well, I'm even more confused now because number one, you've not told me what I've actually done. Therefore, you ain't getting a penny. Number two, I never appealed in the first place. And number three, who the hell do you think you are? Well, have a look at this. There are government ministers that are actively saying they want the thing reduced down to £50, particularly in this day and age, because £100 is, you know, quite a lot of somebody's weekly salary, let's face it. And the British Parking Association wants to actually up the thing to 120 being even more greedy than before. In my personal view, these firms are crooks, they're unjust, they're, they're immoral, and they need holding to account and basically ripping apart they need dissolving they're nothing more than highway robbery people <laughs> in my view and they need to prove their case i mean parking i you know from what i've read are actually one of the ones that take people to court if you don't comply and pay what they're asking but all i'm simply saying is what have i done wrong and they can't answer it funny that isn't it but this whole industry is shocking, it really is. Have any of you experienced this? Have any of you, you know, gone to court over it? I'm very tempted. We'll have to see what happens. Anyway, I'm off. Toodaloo.